property worth millions of shillings and even lives have been lost time and again during disasters. And although accidents are inevitable, the extent of damage can be controlled. But this hardly happens because most buildings are ill-equipped to handle disasters. The state of our preparedness in handling disasters is far below the acceptable level and we must accept it. Early this year, over 20 people perished in the Nakumet downtown fire tragedy, and more recently, 120 families were rendered homeless in the administration police camp in Nairobi's community area. The increasing number of such occurrences may finally have prompted relevant authorities to think of mitigation measures. It is going to be a requirement that each building has, first of all, firefighting systems, smoke detectors, and need this system to detect fire. We ask the government to also enforce health and safety in all our buildings and encourage compliance. However, there are still underlying issues that need to be sorted out. Key among them, availability of relevant equipment and water. Quite often, firefighters are forced to watch buildings helplessly raise down because of these factors. So we cannot expect the hydrants to be having water if ourselves don't have water in the houses. Nairobi Metropolitan Minister Njeri Vai has also said that there is currently a CCTV pilot project that will focus on human-induced disasters. Fibina Dupoi, Citizen TV.